God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
God who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are counted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian, and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called, him, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. Then he said, Do not come near. Put off your shoes from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, Now, behold, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me, and I have seen the oppression which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt. He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you, that I have sent you. When you have brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. The word of the Lord. Oh, 
According to Matthew, Glory be to you, Lord. you have hidden these things from the wise and revealed them to infants. Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 27. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, in our human ways of thinking, and by the standards of the world, we have conditions, we have categories by which we judge or measure what is good and what is of standard. But all of our readings today, the Lord points out something very clearly to us. And like the scripture says, the Lord will always proclaim and declare my ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Amen and amen. amen. The man Moses in himself was looking at his inadequacies, his limitations, and giving reasons why he is not qualified to be sent by the Lord. 
on the assignment of becoming a leader to lead his people, the Israelites. But God, on the other side, was going to use these very weaknesses of his and show forth strength out of them all. And in the Gospel text, Jesus remarkably declared that, and in thanksgiving, of course, that God chooses to make revelations and reveal things to those who are infants and not to those who have so acclaimed themselves as the wise and the learned of the world. Glory to Jesus. By the concept of infancy here, we are talking about those who are docile, those who are open to the spirit, those who are meek in heart, those who are humble in heart. And fundamentally, most of all, those who are simply trusting and obeying in the Lord based on the gift and the virtue of faith. Another major and very serious lesson, therefore, to each and every one of us is that we ought not and should not allow ourselves to succumb to the standards of the world of measuring greatness. Why? Because the Lord God himself, who has made us for himself, knows our respective abilities and every one of us is full of potentials for greatness. It will be out of place, therefore, for a Christian, a son or daughter of God, to look at anyone because of one seeming limitation or weakness that you observe in somebody and you will say, nothing good can come out of this one. One of the beautiful things as a personal testimony and even to that of others that I know for myself and possibly for many other people is that the Lord always exceeds our expectation. The people we feel that nothing good can come out of or the people we often feel that ah, this one, God cannot use this one. In human language, those are the very persons that God will choose to always use. You might have been shocked to see hardened criminals that you probably might have known their ways of life, either from your school days or even some friends that you feel are so wayward in the world or have one form of lim limitation or the other. You discover that out there today, they are doing the work of the Lord, either as pastors, priests, or ministering in different categories or capacities, all bearing witness to the Lord. My dear friends in Christ, we pray for ourselves and we pray for the world that we will truly be infants and bear in our hearts and carry in our lives always those traits of infancy in the Lord. Only then can we really see greatly and immensely with our spiritual eyes the gifts of the Lord that he has hidden from those who claim to be wise and so learned. And what are these traits of infancy? What does it mean to be an infant? Number one, innocence of life and heart. Deep-rooted trust and faith in God. A sublime spirit, a meek heart, and a humble heart. All of these. When you look at a child, you know what it means to be an infant. They simply trust. They have no worries. Nothing worries a child. And that is the spirit the Lord invites us to imbibe. We pray therefore for ourselves and for the world. That truly and truly we will imbibe the spirits in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen.
sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right Truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For though you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like you do for us, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Ignatius our Archbishop, and Slemy Sexillary and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most holy husband, with your blessed apostles, Saint Benedict, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, love of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. No. No.
passion of the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Come, let's share the resurrection of the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Let us pray. Having consumed this gift, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its seven effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we thank Catholic Television for coming to our parish and recording this Mass. May God bless your efforts as you use this medium to spread the Gospel of Christ. I also thank all of us for coming for this Mass. We may stand up and end the Mass. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Holy Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. the mass today i'm very 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 happy that um, we have this opportunity to celebrate the mass and with the ctv and i'm very happy with your 
activities and your work, the way you are visiting from going from one parish to another. Keep, going, keep doing this. God will bless you and God will expand you. Amen. Very big thank you to the Catholic Television of Nigeria for coming to our parish, St. Benedict's Catholic Church, uh, Lokogoma, Abuja. And of course, thank you for the great work you are doing through the media and uh, evangelizing the world through the media. We are very humbled and glad that you made it to come down to cover the, the celebration of the Holy Mass. We pray that the good Lord will continue to strengthen you in this apostolate and keep you in good health of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us out there, I encourage us to get in tune and uh, subscribe to the various channels of this television station as, and be part of the great task of evangelizing the world. I'm very happy to, that today we are privileged to have CTV cover one of our masses. It's what we have actually longed for and we thank God that it has come to pass today. Uh, Sabadis Paris Lukogoma is a part that is uh, very wonderful in its activities. We just started not quite long. We are a young parish, but we are doing very well. The good here is very phenomenal. We thank God who has been by our side. We have our project that is ongoing, and we are all working together with our parish priests to see that what we have on ground here will in no time become one of the best uh, church building projects here in Abuja Adasis. The people here are very uh, loving and it's actually a part that we call it part of blessings and care. We care for each other and we believe that God is actually in our midst. So we thank God for what he's doing in our midst. We are very grateful for your coming and we hope that we shall be seeing more of you here to cover our activities. The activities here in this parish are very uh, well organized. The men are organized, the women are organized, the youth are organized. The lady here is very well organized. So as you come often, you will get to see more of us and we wish you God blesses too. In the holo, in the holo, in the holo. watching CTV 